Hello, everyone, and welcome back to the New Hampshire Business Show. My name is Chris Pastrana, and today we're here with Will Murphy of Everlasting Capital. How's it going, Will? What's going on? How are you? I'm doing fantastic. So let's get started. Uh, talk a little bit about yourself, and then we'll get into your business. Yeah, so pretty much I'll lay it all out there. I'm an entrepreneur at heart, right? So I've always been on that journey from when I was a young age, you know, selling stuff on eBay, selling stuff on, on whatever. It wasn't Craigslist back then. So we would just, oh, there was Craigslist, but you know, I just put it out there. I would buy yeah. stuff at yard sales, sell stuff at, you know, online I'd meet people, sell stuff. And I've just always had that bug. Right. And I ended up, I went to college uh, for four years up at Plymouth state here in New Hampshire. And, um, I was going to be a teacher. And it came to the point where it was kind of just what society molded me to be, right? You graduate high school, you, you go to college, you get a job, you get the house, you get married, white picket fence, dog, you know, the whole nine. And, you know, I thought about where I was at in my life and I came up with, I didn't want to be a teacher. My parents are teachers and I just didn't, you know, as much as I, I loved them growing up with the free time, the early days, I, I just didn't want to be a teacher. So you know, I went back into to be an entrepreneur and, you know, I, I started a landscape company. Um, you know, I've, I've done everything. I, I've hauled junk and that, that really where it started my, my entrepreneurial journey. So I worked for 1-800-GOT-JUNK um, back in, this goes back to 2009, right? Yep. So I did junk hauling forever and I started taking the junk off the trucks and actually selling it on eBay. So I came to a point where I was making, you know, $100,000 a year on eBay selling other people's junk that we were getting for free. Nice. And it was, it was to a point where like, holy, uh, you know, there's something here. Yeah. So I opened up a pawn shop. Go figure, right? <laughs> uh, so I started buying people's junk and, you know, I turned that into a huge business. You know, we were doing, you know, like $500,000 a year at our, our peak, um, in the, in the pawn shop. And, you know, we we're, we were the American pickers before the American pickers. Yeah. Um, before that became mainstream, you know, we were the go-to to buy signage, gas pumps. Um, and we would buy signs and gas pumps and resell them, uh, in the area. I mean, we'd ship, we'd do whatever we needed to do to, to make money. Uh, we had along having the pawn shop video games are huge. Um, and then, you know, I, I got into, I owned two stores at the time um, and it just became capped out, right? It's in Rochester. So there's yeah. only so many people that I, I could sell to. My market was so small yeah. that either I had to open up 10, 12 shops to be able to get to the next level or I needed to figure something else out in what I wanted to do. So, um, you know, one day I had an employee that was into the finance industry and he worked in the finance industry for, for a couple of years out of high school. And he had this idea. He saw someone on Facebook that was looking to open up a restaurant and his light bulb went off and he said, I can figure out how to get this guy financed, you know, through a bank that we can pretty much broker the deal from the vendor. We'll figure out the financing and get him financed. Um, so, you know, a short, make it short. He pretty much made a business plan. I gave him three grand. He went in the basement, started dialing, making 400 phone calls a day. Literally in November, it was 45 degrees in the basement. He had a, a coat on and he was just pounding the phone. We had a pawn computer, a pawn phone, a, a desk nice. down there. And you know, that's where Everlasting Capital was born in a basement in 2012 on four union street in Rochester under we buy stuff. And yeah that's that's where the dream was born and that's how you know we started what i'm doing now which is everlasting capital which is a which is a finance company um that you know deals with um everything from financing equipment to short-term working capital um and we grew that business to over the last six years in 2017 we we're the fastest growing privately owned company in new hampshire yeah. um you know, which is, which is huge. It's a great honor to go from literally a basement to the Inc 500, you know, that's, yeah. it's huge. And it, it's a great thing to, to see. Um, you know, we love hiring employees. It, it's a family atmosphere in our business. And, you know, we like to see people succeed, help people get to the next level. 
Um, and you know, that's what, what I'm all about. And, you know, in a nutshell, I'm, I'm an entrepreneur at heart and I'll, I'll do whatever I can to find that next, you know, dollar or that next, uh, opportunity or next reason to help, you know, another entrepreneur get to, to the next level. So yeah. that's my, my kind of story in a nutshell. Cool. So let's get into that a little bit. Um, so capital is always a big thing for businesses, especially new ones. Um, so let's go into that. Cause I know it's an issue most have. <laughs> yeah. Capital, I mean, cash, you need cash, you need capital, you need injections of capital to get your business off the ground. With that said, though, um, you know, the sweat equity, right, for a startup, I mean, me and you both know we're, we're very, yep. you have a startup, you, you have a business, you've had businesses, it's, you got to put the work in, right? So it's not a nine to five, right? It's yeah. a, whenever you have time to do this, to, to do interviews, to get your name out to the brain yourself. So Capital is very, very important, but you need to have a certain amount of that sweat equity, you know, in, involved in the business and you have to be in it to win it. Right. Yeah. And there's a lot of fear involved in those that, you know, want to start a business that maybe have a day job that they feel secure. Right. Yeah. So, you know, I've started all of my businesses with under $3,000, right? My pawn shop was 2,500 bucks and everlasting capital is three grand at a landscaping company, 600 bucks, you know, lawnmower, weed whacker, trailer. Yeah. Um, so capital is, is, is not as important as it is the sweat equity. Yeah. But with that said, also capital, you need, you need money, right? You need yeah. overhead, you need to pay rent, you need to pay employees. Um, and we do, we do fund a lot of startups as far as equipment. Um, but you know, to, to get the capital you need, I mean, you have to have that, that business first and that those systems, that model to, to actually, you know, prove that you can, you have a sustainable business model yeah. um, and you can get that capital. Yeah. Okay. So what does that process look like? So company comes in, I'm assuming they've been in business for a little bit. They have a little bit of revenue coming in. What do they need to work with you guys? Yeah. So we work with businesses that have been open for three months. So technically those are still startups, Yeah. Um, but they can show a little bit of revenue in the bank statements. They can show a little bit of, you know, a positive increase in sales. So what we look at for the capital portion is three months of bank statements and an application, you know, and with those three months of bank statements, we can kind of project, if you will, what they're going to do for that year. So we take the average of the three months bank statements divided by three, multiply by 12, and we can kind of project what you're going to do for, for a yearly, you know, revenue. Yeah. Um, and then we can usually rule of thumb is what we do is look at the yearly revenue. So say they do a hundred thousand dollars a year projected, mm -hmm. um, we're going to be able to lend usually up to 10% of that yearly revenue. So a company new coming in, they do whatever, 10 K a month. Uh, we can usually get them around $10,000. Yeah. Um, and we also look at a big thing to look at is the cash flow. So the average daily ledger balance, which you find on the bottom of your bank statements, which how much you end the day with average each day in your bank. Um, that's a very important factor in our, our decisions because it's a cash flow based product and we need to make sure that these companies can uh, afford to, to pay this back, um, yeah. before we fund them. So the, the cash flow is very important also. Yeah. Okay. So what other things are businesses looking at? Because from what I know of um, capital and kind of the finance world is it can get confusing and crazy. And so what should people have prepared kind of ahead of time for that? For us, I mean, it's, it's pretty simple, right? Yeah. You just need the application, three months bank statements, and, and that's pretty much it. So, uh -huh. you know, we're so alternative. I mean, we're not a bank, you know, yeah. there's not a lot of red tape. So that's how we, kind of distance ourselves from, from the bank market, mm -hmm. right? Cause it's very difficult these days to, to get bank funding, right? You yeah. gotta, you need a business plan, you need, yeah. you know, tax returns, you need profit and loss, you need balance sheet, you need an application that's three or four pages long. And I only say that because I've been through that and I, I know how much you need for a bank, but with <laughs> us, we like to keep it, our motto is efficient, fast, simple business funding. So, you know, with those three months bank statements, with that application, we can get you an approval and get you funded within two hours. So oh, wow. it, it's very, very efficient. Um, and you, you don't need much. You just need a business. You need some revenue and you need someone like myself um, to have those relationships to be able to 
uh, hook you up with those relationships and I, I can usually get an offer for pretty much everybody. That's pretty good. It seems yeah. like it'd be pretty helpful for a new business. <laughs> yeah, no, it is. It is. It is. And the thing with us too, we have a lot of, you know, experience with new businesses. So, yeah. you know, startups, you know, they, I think there's like 27 million businesses right now in the United States. I think it might be a little bit more. Um, and, and they're adding businesses every single day. So yeah. the problem with these startups is they don't know where to start. Right. Yeah. There's a lot of things that you need to do. You need to get that EIN letter. You need to, you know, go through legal zoom or there's an easier way you can go through your state and just sign up. And yeah. there's a, there's a streamlined process, but we're here to help, you know, even startups figure that out. So we can kind of hold your hand and guide you through that process to get you to the point where you're able to take that capital. Um, and you know, we call it, we're not really sales people over here. We're more of a financial consultant, if you will. Um, yeah. And we just like to, to build that long-term relationship. And once you can build that relationship, that's where, you know, the customer becomes more of, more of a friend than anything. And then that's why we hold on to our customers long-term. We fund them multiple times um, just because of that relationship. Cool. Now, what does the payback on the loans users look like? Is it like a year, six months? Are, you, are these short-term, long-term yeah, ones? Yeah, so it's very it's short-term. So. Okay. Again, it, we call ourselves alternative lenders for a reason. Yeah. So it's anywhere between three to 18 months. Okay. Um, it's very unique on how our terms are paid back. It's either daily or weekly, right? Mm -hmm. And a lot of people are like, whoa, what do you mean daily? And the reason we do that and the reason we have been doing that is because it's a cash flow driven product. And we look at, it's a, such a short term that if we did it a monthly payment, it'd be such a large payment coming out at the end of the month where yeah. we actually spread it out. It's only business days. So it's only, you know, 21, 22 business days in a month. So we take a small piece of money out daily ACH every single day until it's paid back. Um, and the example that I, that I give in that is I know I wouldn't go to like a Roma Joe's and pay for my coffee, you know, at the end of the month, I yeah. we pay daily, right? We pay, whatever, four and change a day for a cup of coffee. Yeah. I had to pay at the end of the month and it was like a hundred dollars. I'd be like, Whoa, I'm spending that. Like that's, that's a lot of money for a coffee. So it's less palatable when it comes out daily and yeah. we structure it so they can afford it and they know what's coming out. And essentially they, they won't miss that money yeah. in a way uh, because it's coming out in such small increments on a daily basis. Okay. That makes sense. I can definitely, um, trying to think so how do people learn a little more and uh get in touch with you so i mean we're on all social everlastingcapital.com we're everlasting capital on um facebook instagram uh twitter linkedin so we're all over the place you know we like to to get our name out there brand us you can you can google everlasting capital and everything will come up our reviews and stuff like that and you know, we're, we're available all the time and we're willing to, to help anyone that, that needs some help. Cool. Now, where are you looking to take this? You know, because you guys are growing pretty quick. You're doing well. Are you looking to become like an, a national, international thing? Or are you just trying to keep it, you know, kind of small? Yeah. So that's, that's a great question. And, you know, it's tough because we're, we're still in, I mean, we're six years in, but we're still in our infancy stage, if you will. Yeah. Right. So we're 95% of brokers. So we're the middleman between the bank and the customer. Mm -hmm. um, now we've had certain times where we've worked to, um, to raise capital. Um, mm -hmm. and those, those times they, they didn't work out, but you know, I think for the better because we needed to kind of get our, our foundation under us, if you will. And I think six years in, it's a point where we have all of our systems in place. Yeah. So this year is a big, 2019 is going to be a big year to kind of either, you know, either grow and, and blow up or just do what we're doing, helping business owners, helping, you know, our employees and our employees' families, you know, just yeah. do it or we're going to blow up. And yeah. I think really, I mean, we've had a meeting about this actually uh, last week and this is the year. So it's either we blow up and, and the plan is to, to raise capital. We're looking for $50 million to be able to actually lend our own money on our own balance sheet. Okay. Um, or, you know, we'll stay what we're doing and we'll just keep growing and growing that way. But my goal is to, to raise capital and be the, the, the funder um, 
for our clients. Okay. That's pretty cool. Yeah. It's exciting. Uh, yeah, definitely. Um, so yeah, that's a lot of what I had. Do you have anything you want to go over before we take out? Take off? Yeah. I mean, so I, I mean, I don't know much about you. I'll yeah. kind of flip the script a little bit. What, what kind of business do you have? Well, one, the podcast, um, we just started a new business. Um, it's pretty cool. We're, it's really hard to explain. We're almost like a, I can't call it insurance because it's not insurance. So we call it assurance, but it helps people who they make a mistake. They end up in jail <laughs> and we help speed that process up. So instead of wasting yep. days or weeks in jail, completely destroying yep. their lives, we get them in and out in a couple of hours um, typically. And so that's a new thing we've been putting forward. And like I said, it's not insurance, but it acts kind of like as an insurance policy. Um, yep. so that's pretty cool. That's a new so thing. Like a, kind of like a, on the spin of a bail bondsman, but you know, executed a little quicker. Yeah. And but we're, we're not bail bondsmen, but you know, we, we pay the bondsman we're a communication service. So instead of, um, let's say, you know, you get arrested, you call your wife, and she doesn't answer because it's an unknown phone number, right? <laughs> yeah. um, you, you contact us and we have your call log so we can notify everyone who's important about the situation. We make sure they find out about it and, and then we'll go pay your bail for you. We'll send a vehicle to pick you up and bring you home. And wow. so we take care of the entire process and you know get them on their way so they don't like lose their jobs and r ruin yeah. their family life and all that stuff. So it's kind of cool. That's a new thing. We just got started up last year and uh, that's going to grow pretty good this year. And then, yeah. you know, I got the show and yeah, so that's a lot of my time. <laughs> that's a great, that's a great idea. That yeah, is it awesome. is. <laughs> for you. That's, you know, cause obviously there's, there, there's people that belong in jail, but then there's, you know, the, the things that happen that you don't necessarily plan on happening, like the DUIs and that kind yeah. of stuff. That, yeah, and that's what uh, a lot of people think. You know, they'll be like, "Oh, I'm not a, I'm not a criminal," and I'm like, "Well, most yeah. people aren't." You yes. know, you know, yep. they had one too many drinks out at lunch with their colleagues. Yep. And then, or you know, they didn't even do anything wrong, and the police just show up, and they're like, "We'll let the courts figure that out later." They do it all the time. Yeah. You know? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. yeah. So that's, that's definitely, a, a, I, I look at that, it's like a community kind of service that I yeah. think people would, you know, take advantage of. I mean, that's, that's, that's genius. Yeah, that's awesome. pretty cool. Awesome. <laughs> yeah. So, but yeah, no, I appreciate you having me on. I mean, this is, this is great and you do a great job. I mean, I've been following you for, for a while and, um, you. you know, just kind of popping in and seeing your interviews and I wish I could have came down there, but you know, <laughs> it was a long drive. Hours a little bit, uh a little far for the middle of a, what day is it? Wednesday, but yeah. And so maybe next totally, time. yeah, definitely. And I totally understand. Cause I was looking at it and I'm like, Oh man, there's no good way up to Rochester. Yeah. It's like you have to go like, in, like whatever it is, 93. And then you're like, Oh, I'm kind of going to go up through a bunch of towns and it's yeah. just, there's no good way up there. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> so, yeah. No, this worked out great. This was awesome. And I appreciate your time and I appreciate you for, you know, putting business owners on the map here and yeah, absolutely. Thank you. Yeah, definitely. So thank you so much for being on today. And thank you everyone else for watching. I hope everyone learned something and reach out if you need uh, some funding for your business.